in the society. I met a brother in Texas, a businessman. His child age was somewhere between six and seven. And he's telling me a surprising story. He's telling me, Sheikh, usually this is my wife who go to the school and pick the children. But one day it happened that she got busy, so I had to go. So I went, when I reached the school gate, there was an old man waiting for me. So when I stopped, he came forward, asking me, Oh, this is your son? I said, yes, this is my son. Oh, that's good, good to see you. Oh, actually, we were looking uh, forward, and I was waiting one day to see you. I got surprised. What do you mean to say? What do you mean? Why, why, why does he want to see me? Does he need something in business, or something from Pakistan, or something like that? No, that was not the scenario. That was not the story. He, grandpa is telling, grandfather is telling, that he has a daughter of seven year age studying with your child and actually she started liking him and he started getting interest in her. So we as family, we wanted to come to visit your home to recognize their friendship and their relationship. He got shocked. But yes, why are you getting shocked? We must know that this is the society we are living in. Our kids are being taught at the, age, the very age of seven, eight, and nine about sex and this and that and right and left. And this is the world, a world of media, internet. Everything kids got on finger tips. In many cases, might be. A father or a mother, they don't know much about the computer. But the kids, they know everything like this. And they can hide the things and they can play around, they can do anything and everything. So how the parents are going to play the role then? But we are still, we sleeping. We say, no, no, our, uh, our child is very nice and uh, he is very good and she is very nice. No, 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 we, I can't think of that. I can't believe. You believe or not, that is the world of reality. You need to open your eyes. Don't be like uh, what pigeon. When it sees that the cat is coming, it closes its eyes, assuming that the cat is not coming. Scenario will never change. We Muslim open our eyes or we not open our eyes, it's not going to make no difference. The flood of this society and the culture, and everything which is over here, which is surrounding us, is going to overtake us and overcome us if we won't open our eyes. And this is where, so, some people are saying, in living in the Western societies and in these countries, well, now we can't do nothing. We are handicapped. And this is where they are, uh, they are trying to say that, well, we can't do nothing. We got no, play, no role to play. We cannot help ourselves. So as they are saying that, just to leave the things as they are. And other opinion. We're saying, well, it is really a huge challenge. It's a big dilemma. It's a big question mark about our iman, our belief, our family, our kids, where they are going to end uh, after a couple of years, a couple of days. So what should we do? They are saying that, yes, though we cannot face this huge tsunami, but at least we can do whatever we can do. And we should do whatever we can do. So I am with this second opinion. We should not just surrender ourselves. Oh, no, we can't do nothing this way. I'm just 
raising my hands up and I am surrendering. No. We need to face this challenge. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to do at least whatever we can do. We need to play the role whatever we can play. Though we are weak. One might say, well, what the center is going to play a role? It can play a huge role. It's a lot better than surrendering all together. Well, from this perspective, I am trying to say that what the parents' role can play at the home. First of all, to know, to learn, to get aware about the importance of this issue and about the importance of this challenge. No, I know if I am to live over here or in, uh, in any other country, parents coming with their complaints, oh, our child is uh, doing this, our child is doing this, we are facing this problem, this challenge, this issue. Plenty of issues are over there. But did we open our eyes? Did we try to learn? Did we try to understand how to counter this challenge? How to face this challenge? What role can we play as a parents in this society? So first of all is the awareness of the parents. Number two, we need to have a daily halaqa, a learning at home. Any book of hadith or tarjamat al-Quran, translation of the Quran, every day just read two ayat and with translation. So we should know the meaning and our kids should know the meaning. This is a slow process, but believe me, within a year, year and a half, you will inshallah complete once from this end to the other end. And just keep doing. If you and me are to continue with it for the period of 15 years, just imagine how many times your and my child has been through the whole translation and the meaning and picture and the message of the Quran. At least close to nine to ten times. Can you imagine if he has been through the translation of the Quran and the message and the akamat of the Quran close to nine to ten times? How much effect and impact it is going to have upon the child? It's huge. This is where you and me will see how the miracle of Quran does work. Then it is job of the Quran. How does it play its role? Or similarly, take a book of a hadith and every day just one or two a hadith, but whole family. All of us, we should sit together maybe after dinner or before dinner or whatever the suitable time for the whole family. All of us, we should sit together and read from there. Similarly, reciting the Quran. Establishing prayer at the home. You and my kids are going to watch whom? No one is there in the street for them to see that if there are people are going to the masjid or not. You are not back in back home that when it is the azan is called, being called, oh, huge crowd is walking towards where? Towards the masjid. Over here, nothing like that is there. So what they are going to see? It, they are going to see you and me. Whatever we do, right or wrong, you have an excuse for your wrong practices, or you don't have an excuse. That is regardless. But you and me are a role model for our children. You and me are a role model. In back countries, yes, there was grandpa, grandfather, and grandmother, and many other people in the street, in family, extended one. Uh, we used to tell our kids, oh, he is a righteous person. He is a good person. She is a good lady. Mashallah. She has taqwa. She is so and so and so good qualities she has. But over here, what our child is watching? Whomever is you and me, weak or less or more, they are watching you and me. You and me are the picture of Islam in front of our child. So let us reflect and think and ponder what sort of picture you and me are painting picture of Islam in front of our child. This, this picture, this portrait, does it tell lie every day? 
Does it deceive? Does it cheat? Does it misbehave? Does it pray? Does it recite? Does it obey Quran? Does it obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Does if the deen is part and parcel of life of this portrait we are presenting in front of our children? That is what you and me are. We and you and me cannot disassociate, disassociate ourselves. Well, no, I'm nowhere in the picture. No. It's not the case that you are nowhere in the picture. You are the main picture. You cannot disassociate, uh, disassociate yourself. And uh, just remove yourself from the scene. No. Mom and the dad, they are the real picture of Islam in front of the child. Before he grows and before he uh, mashallah, reaches the age where he is going to recite a, a, a book of Sira and the life of Prophet وسلم, and many other things, that's way far. At the moment, you and me are a live picture of Islam in front of him. So what sort of Islam we are presenting in front of him and in front of her? So this is where the education. Similarly manners, there are a lot of and plenty of books in Arabic, in English, in Urdu, in every language about the manners of day-to-day -day life. So we might study up twice a week or once a week, couple of pages from there, make a halakha at the home. And read that book of manners. So we should...